Hello Crafty Mavens, this is Megan and I am finally <laughs> here to share my Project Life spread. So I apologize that I am posting this so late this week. It has been a hard week for me and I was hoping that I would still be able to get this up on Tuesday, but I just didn't. I've had a kidney infection which has been so awful and I've finally been feeling better the past few days so I was able to get this done. Um, but here you can see I was just kind of going through some of my 6x6 paper pads and I don't actually have a lot of purple in my stash. So what I decided to be inspired by with this inspiration piece was bright colors and just pretty and fun. So I pulled out these two collections. Um, this one that I have right there right now is Finders Keepers from Amy Tangerine. And then that first one that I was pulling from before was Simple Stories. And now I'm going to forget the name. I think it was called Good Day Sunshine. I think that's what it was called. That one is probably a few years old. I think that one came out in 2015. And I've had it forever, and so I thought it would be fun to use it. But the more and more that I go along on this layout, I decide that I kind of want to stick more to the Amy Tangerine colors. I am still going to incorporate some of the simple stories in as well, though. Okay, so now here I'm just cutting up that bottom photo. And if you have watched me make Project Life um, layouts before, you know that I don't usually scrapbook each, like from the top down. I just kind of do whatever I feel like doing first. So here you can see I am using quite a different style of pocket page today. I had this one that had a three by three that in the middle and I had that three by three photo or not three by three, four by four. Yeah, it's four by four. Sorry. <laughs> I wasn't thinking right. So I had that four by four photo that I had printed as a four by four. And so I wanted to have that in the middle. And so this one also has like, I don't even know what size those are because they're not two by two, but there's four littler pockets, um, next to the, uh, both sides of that four by four in the middle. So here you can see, I'm trying to, um, cut and measure the pockets because they're all different sizes. The top two are smaller than the bottom two, which just drives me crazy that they make it that way. And these I believe are a Becky Higgins, um, whoops, are a Becky Higgins, uh, project life pocket. It, let's see on the pocket, it says HSN one. So I guess it was a special that they made with four H HSN. So I don't know if they actually sell them anywhere. Cause I did buy like a, a special edition pack from HSN and this was like way back in 2014, I think that I bought these. Okay. So now here you can see, I'm just fidgeting and I'm going to do that a lot. I'm going to skip around to different cards. I got kind of frustrated with the middle cards because they weren't all the same size. So I decided to move on to this bottom card. And this is a photo of my husband, my youngest son, Tinian, and my middle son, Brennan. And um, my husband and Brennan were playing a video game together. And it's a, I don't know, I don't think it's an old game. I just think he recently got it or something. And so he wanted to play it and he asked Brennan to play with him. And so Brennan was like, uh, yeah, <laughs> anytime dad will ask for them to play, um, like they love that. Not just because it's dad, but just because it's, uh, extra time on <laughs> playing video games. My kids get to play video games only on the weekends. We've kind of changed it so that they can't play during the week because they were not doing homework. Like some of my kids, I'm not going to name names, <laughs> but one of my kids lied one day and said he didn't have homework and they were playing on their Kindles or something. And then the next morning he would, he, I found him doing homework before school. And I was like, 
what are you doing? He was like, I forgot I had homework. And I was like, oh, bull crap. <laughs> like, okay, no more Kindles or video games on the weekdays. So, so they, they get enough of it on the weekends. Okay, so you can see I, I cut up one of those little, I don't even know, are those like one by one inches? I don't even know how big they are. But those cute little just words and phrases on those blocks. And I layered a few pattern papers behind it. And now I'm going to use this cute mix from Speak of Mom Scraps and just kind of put some sequins around the bottom of this card. And this is one of my favorite, favorite mixes. It is called Build a Snowman. And it coordinates with... Goodness, I'm going to forget what it coordinates with. I think it's with um, Crate Paper's Winter Line. I'm pretty sure that's what it coordinates. And I can't think of what the Winter Line is right now. <laughs> But anyway, so I decided to use those and here I am trying to use my fine line bottle, but it is clogged, which I thought wasn't supposed to happen with these fine line bottles. So I'm kind of annoyed about that. <laughs> um, so I was, I had to take off the top and use, like put my finger in it to use the glue. It was kind of frustrating because then I got glue all over my fingers. But anyway, I moved on and now I'm using one of my new, I'm so excited about this. Um, I bought a Webster's Pages planner kit from Joann's because it was on sale for $9, which is, I think it was like half off. And um, so this cute little stamp rotary stamp was in there. So I just stamped the date, which was February 18th. And then I'm going to do some journaling and my journaling, I'm going to use one of these, uh, what are they called? They're called tripless fine liner and they are from Stetler. And I'm just using a black one, and it just says, Mark asked Brennan to play Geometry Wars 3. They didn't last long. I guess it wasn't fun. <laughs> so, yeah. I mean, they literally only played it for, like, 15, 20 minutes. I don't even know. If, I don't even think it was that long. But Okay, so now I am... I was just looking at the other um, little stamps on that rotary stamp um, trying to see if there was one that I wanted to put over on this photo. And there was a stamp that said XOXO. So I'm going to stamp that a couple times on the right on the photo at, after I finish putting all these sequins on there. And I'm not going to do anything more. I thought about um, like cutting or trimming the photo. And I also thought about adding that fearless little... Um, square, but I decided against it, and I just kept this one simple. So if you didn't know, the way that I do my scrapbooking is not weekly, I do monthly. Um, so I will usually stamp the date on every photo or every card, just so I know what date it is. Um, but I don't scrapbook by the week. And it just kind of takes the pressure off. Because um, some days I don't take photos. Other days I take a bunch of photos. And I just want the freedom um, to be able to put as many photos as I want from one day. Like the very... I'm going to post um, a layout tomorrow on my channel. Um, my first Project Life spread for my channel is going up tomorrow. And that was just one day, like the full front first page of my, my album is just one day in January. So I really just love the freedom that you have. You don't have to stick with the norm with, um, project life. You can do whatever you want. Okay. So now here you can see, I cut one of those three by four photos of my food. I cut it down and then I'm going to make this little, um, cute card and I'm going to put that um, that striped paper and that is one of the papers from uh, Simple Stories and then I'm also going to use this new tape, washi tape that I got. It's super skinny and it actually came in that same planner kit that I got from Joann's. 
<clears throat> excuse me. So here I'm just gluing all of that stuff down. I'm going to cut off that excess and then I'm going to put a couple sequins and I'm also going to stamp the word yum. Okay, so I've glued those down. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm losing my voice. So now here I'm using these uh, typewriter font <coughs> letters. And I think these came from a company named Pegs. Or maybe that's just the name of the stamp. But I got it at Tuesday morning for like 7 bucks, And it's really cool because you don't have to... Um, like they stick together. You can stick them together and um, you don't have to like guess because I'm always bad at guessing where the letters should go <laughs> when I'm using typewriter fonts. Um, and I have a lot of those little like sticks that have the typewriter fonts on them. I don't know if you know what I mean, but I'm making sense to myself. <laughs> okay, so now here I'm going to cut up these other two images and I'm going to fit them in the pockets on the other side. So here I'm just measuring for the size for that pocket. And like I was saying, I'm going to have another Project Life post up on my channel tomorrow. It will be out of order from, um, from this one because this one is a dates in February, like a few days in February, and the one that I'm posting tomorrow on my channel will be January, like the first week in January. So it is a little bit out of order, but oh well, it's okay. Okay, so now I cut up another one of those little Amy Tangerine squares, and I am going to... Let's see what I'm doing. I'm kind of sticking things in here where I want them to go. And then I'm going to start embellishing this one over here for that bottom middle left pocket, if that made sense. Um, so I'm going to use this yellow paper and I'm going to use slate. What is it called? Slate from ink from close to my heart and I'm going to put it at kind of a slant and then I'm going to pull out a couple of these star sequins and put those on there. I'm going to ink the edge of the yellow paper and then this little teeny tiny filler card is going to be done. I really had a lot of fun making this spread. Those cute little Amy Tangerine square um, phrases like those just worked so perfect for these cute little cubed layout or pockets um so i'm really excited that i found those and had the idea to use them okay so i am gluing this other one and i found another piece of paper from the simple stories Good, Good Day Sunshine collection. So I glued that underneath there and I'm going to add a couple more sequins to this one and then this card is going to be done. So even though this layout took me an hour and a half to make, I had a lot of fun making it. I think mainly it took me so long because I am still a little bit sick. Um, I've had a kidney infection and um, like I was saying earlier, so it has kind of made things a little bit more difficult this week and I'm so I'm still kind of recuperating. Is that the word recuperating? Yeah, I think that's a word. Sorry. My brain doesn't even work right. I probably can't blame my illness though, right? <laughs> that's just normal for me. Okay, so now here you can see I'm using this cute little pencil paper, and I thought that one, that one is just going to stay plain. I just thought it was cute, and I could, and it went along because that photo of Brennan is him writing. Okay, so now this top card, I am going to be doing my journaling for 
the picture of Brennan to the left, and then the the um, two photos of the food. Sorry, I can talk. So what I decided to kind of separate the journaling and to make you think, oh, okay, so, you know, the top journaling is for the card next to it, and then the bottom journaling is for, you know, the other photos, um, was I put that little skinny piece of washi tape there, and then I put down some sequins to kind of divide the page, or the little card, and then I'm going to do the journaling about the food photos. So the first journaling says, the top journaling says, I made a layout for Brennan and had him do the journaling. And then the bottom journaling says, I decided to start eating healthier. These are some meals. I had to kind of keep it short and sweet just because it was such a small card. So it doesn't explain a ton, but it's not like you really need to know more than what I had said. So, okay. So for this card, I have these two photos. Um, this uh, top one on the right hand side is a photo of a bag of M&Ms and it's totally random but on this day which was February 17th um, Tinian had decided to bring or no okay let me back up <laughs> so I gave Tinian this bag of mint M&Ms because they were having a 100 day of school party um, and it was the week before. So this photo was taken on February 17th, and I think their 100th day of school was like February 10th. No, it was probably the 12th or 13th or something like that. So it had been earlier, probably the week before this, and I gave him the mint M&M so that they could make a trail mix. His teacher had asked for every all kids to send in something for the trail mix. So I sent these with him because this is what I had on hand. And on this day, February 17th, he brought them back to me and he said, look what I found. They were buried in my backpack. And I was like, oh my gosh. <laughs> so I had to document it. And then it was super hilarious that he had written his name and his class number along with the year <laughs> on the front. So I just thought it was really funny. Okay, so you can see I cut one of those silver doilies, and I get my silver doilies from Spiegel Mom Scraps, cut it in half, and then glued it to the top there, and then I just have a scrap piece of yellow paper that I glued behind the photo, just as kind of a little accent, and then um, I'm also going to use this white tag from Spiegel Mom Scraps, and I'm going to ink everything with that slate gray ink from close to my heart. And then I'm going to do my journaling and my journaling just explains the story that I just told you. So here I am looking up on Facebook because I posted, um, I posted this photo and the story behind it on Facebook. So I, I wanted to make sure that I told it the right way. So here I found the photo, and I'm just going to do my journaling. Okay, now I am putting some sequins on this card. You can see that I got the journaling done, and then I'm going to stamp the date in a, a few places, and then this card will be done. Okay, now I'm going to move on to this last photo, and... This one, I really wanted to use that cute polka dot paper, so I'm going to end up pulling a scrap from my scrap bin, and it's just a white piece of cardstock, um, so I'm going to glue, and it's not um, the full 4x6, it's just 6 inches long, so I'm just going to glue them both to it, and then I'm going to use washi tape to, um, to make sure that they stay on that piece of paper. But here I'm going to do some layering with a couple pieces from the Simple Stories paper pad that I had. And then I'm going to do my journaling on that yellow card. I'm also going to pull out some stamps. 
not some stamps, sorry, some sequins. They both start with S's. <laughs> So here you can see is where I'm going to glue down or tape down the back just to make sure that it stays. Okay, now I'm thinking what should I do next? So I'm going to do my journaling. And it says, every year I play the Albertsons Monopoly game. Within the first week, I was already almost a winner. Only two away from winning 100000 And I probably won't win anything. <laughs> Just like every year. I get like one or two away from winning and it drives me insane. It's like, come on, baby. I want $100,000 cash. Pay off my house. <laughs> pay off all my debt. Well, okay, it wouldn't pay off my house, but I could pay a little bit on the house and then pay off the rest of our debt because we've got a lot, baby. Not fun. Anyway, sorry, totally got off track there. So here I'm just going to put a few of these sequins down. Um, on the bottom I did leave some space on the journaling or around the journaling because I knew I did want to add some sequins. Usually I add the sequins first before I do the journaling so that's interesting that I didn't do that. So I'm going to do that and I think I'm going to yeah, yeah I'm going to add a couple more at the top of the journaling. And then this card is going to be done. And I don't feel like, since this is a Project Life page and each photo is a different story, I was feeling like this layout didn't really need, like, a title or anything like that. And that's kind of how I've been doing a lot of my, um, my Project Life pages, except for if it's, like, the first page of the month, it'll have a, excuse me, a, um title card with the month's name on it. So there you have it. I'm going to stamp the date, which is February 14th. I don't think we actually went out and celebrated on February 14th. I think we went the day after. So I will have a scrapbooking page of what we did on February 15th to, um, to show that we actually did celebrate. It was just the day after. So I need to go and figure that out. Here I am going to stamp the date on all of these food photos because I hadn't done that before. And I even just realized just now that I didn't put the date um, on the photo of Brennan writing up his journaling. So I'm going to do that. I think that was actually the same day as um, him playing the Geometry Wars with Mark. But I will put that date on there. And then I will show you some photos. Thanks so much for stopping by. And make sure you um, check us out on Facebook and on our blog. And I will see you next time. Bye. Bye.